Hey guys, kumusta? So today, I'll be sharing it to you on how I practice portraits. Okay, first thing first, choose a good reference. This is one of the hardest part when choosing a reference. Pick a reference with a good lighting on it. I mainly choose a reference based on their cast shadow on their face, so that you could also study on how the lighting shadow works. This is so important especially for drawing a portrait, because having a good shadow value on the reference, it will give you a separation between the light and shadow. If you didn't notice, this is mainly used in the old paintings. So you see, if you actually break down the reference, you will understand on how this works. It's pretty boring right? Well, you need to understand this because this is so important if you wanna be a pro artist someday. Don't start with big drawings. This is my mistake when I start my journey as a beginner. Because I used to draw with the big drawings. This is actually fine. If you like starting out, that's up to you. But for me, instead, start with small. Because small sketches are the best way to improve your art. And plus, it doesn't take much of the space on the sketchbook. And also, this is the best way to not hold back to try with the deeper references. This method is drastically improved my art when I focus just by doing these exercises on my sketchbook. Okay, this is one of your requests, how I draw my proportions. I learned my own proportion by just doing the same thing all over again. Doing that in the different references, you just need to break down your reference into shapes. A lot of artists like starting with a circle, well that's actually right, before shaping the head. Then once I'm okay with the shape of the head of my sketch, I now lay out the horizontal and the vertical lines for the measurement of each feature of the face so that the face is proportional. And then once I lay out the proportion, I now sketch the eyes and nose and lips. And of course, for the main course. Keep the eyebrow sharp as much as possible, and as well for the eyes and nose. Just focus on this main feature. You can also adjust that into hunter eyes, anime style, Disney characters, anything you want. Well, that's up to you on how you can apply the style on your drawing. I found that this method is actually attractive than just copying the whole picture. So I focus in this method with mixed realism to have some style. Just remember that it doesn't always need to copy the reference because the more important is how proportional it is and how stylish it is. So before I continue my drawing, let me tell you the website where I learned some of my skills to become a better artist. So except for art tutorials out here on YouTube, I also have a source of videos tutorial that always helps me through my study in art for months and that is Skillshare. So if you don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is an online learning community where people like you and I can learn new skills. Whether it's a drawing, painting, animation, filmmaking, photography, color grading, and you wanna learn all of this, just go to Skillshare. Skillshare has a tons of classes and it is a great way to develop your skills by watching the behind the scene with your favorite YouTuber and learn their creative process. If you didn't know, I always use this Skillshare as my second favorite platform where I can learn on how I color grade my art videos, learn to start a YouTube channel, and many more. I've been using the Skillshare for months now and this is actually a worth investment for me. And plus, the Skillshare is also has no ads so that you can stay focused on pursuing your passion. 
and the first 500 people to use the link in my description below will get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare. So a big thanks to Skillshare for the sponsor of this video. It doesn't need to be always so realistic. It is because drawing realistic portraits is a big hassle for me. I found that realistic portraits are so long to draw. Okay, let me show you my drawing in the past. Okay, you guess how many hours I draw this one. Well, if your answer is a 3 days or 1 week or 2 weeks, nope, you're wrong. I draw this for a month. A month. And yup, I'm not lying to you. Long ago, I was stuck with this technique. It is called hyperrealism, where I used to grid my drawings and not even use a proportions, which is kinda sucks in my opinion. Okay, don't get me wrong, this is actually fine. But the sad truth about this method is the process. It is so very slow. So for me, just a simple sketch is actually the best option if you wanna be great at something like anatomy. So for the starters out there, my advice is just to focus on anatomy. I know the anatomy is kinda hard and boring, but if you're like me, have this long experience in art, the realization is finding an art style that is suits to me because this will be more like a signature for your art. Okay, it doesn't mean you need to stop doing realistic portrait, but as a fellow artist, my advice to you is before you start to do great things, don't you ever, ever skip the leg day. What I mean about that, don't skip the basics, because these are so important to create your own style and make things not complicated in the future, and use that knowledge to improve even more. Your doings are just okay, grids are okay, tracing are fine too. But if you like taking the art seriously and you want to be good at it, then study the fundamentals of the anatomy. And of course, don't forget to take it slow, because art is not a race.